Okay, I think I'm here. I think I'm ready to do this. So I was considering making a new channel just because there are certain things I want to talk about that I don't really want anyone in my personal life to know about. Um, I want to be able to just work through things more anonymously in that sense, just for for now, maybe. Um, and a lot is happening right now. A lot is happening right now, and um, I think I've sort of had an inkling that in my personal life that major changes are going to occur around this time in my life, um, give or take. Not give or take, but give a couple of years. So 40, 41, maybe 42. And I'm approaching 40 now. Things have begun to happen um, that I've been sort of postponing, anticipating with dread, um, particularly over the last decade or in my 30s, um, but also partly, yeah. Anyway, so things are starting to happen, things are starting to change, and yes, I am wearing a Christmas pajama shirt right now, and it is September, so that's new. And um, yeah, there's some really just deep um, themes that I kind of need to work through and touch upon. A lot of those have to do with some of the more really gruesome aspects of humanity and of our history. In a, in a very real, embodied, visceral way. You know, it's one thing to read historical accounts and books of things that have happened, and it's another thing entirely to relive or experience or process those, I guess, in your own body. And um, it doesn't sound that bad when you're talking about it, but if we're talking about the collective weight of all of the you know, horrible things that we've done as a species. It's a lot. And I'm not saying that that's all my uh, purview as as, um, as whatever it is that I'm here to be doing on this planet. Um, maybe I'll just do my little bit of that. But whatever that is feels like quite a lot more than what I've accrued or what's happened in this lifetime. And... Um, there's just a lot of stuff that I've just been so careful to um, arrange or orchestrate in a certain way that's hopefully going to lead to more of a positive outcome for all myself and for all parties and concerned and involved. So that sounds, you know, so that that sounds good. That sounds fun. Um, I mean, we're all on this journey alone. We're all on this journey um, in incarnate or individual um, individual projection of what we feel, what we think, what we perceive and believe and that mirrored reflection that's constantly being um, sent back and forth from you know our inner world and our mind to the relational world outside of us or whatever you know it may or may not be out of fashion now to refer to more of an objective reality as um, there's no hard and fast rules about any of this stuff there's no specific way that it's going to be or supposed to be so you might say that there's something out there that's objective that we can all see touch and you might say that it's all totally subjective inner and outer and that anything that arises in experience uh, with more than one person is a shared experience that just has to do with the interplay of those individuals and whatever they bring to the table um, merely a you know a, a subjective play of of light and illusion so uh who knows man um at the end of the day uh you know we do just kind of have to get up and 
still make food, eat food, go to the bathroom, walk around, talk, you know, wheel and deal or whatever it is that we do, lie and steal and, you know, all those things and yeah, go to sleep at night, you know, so that's still happening. That's all part of it. Um, but I do feel like there are some more like inner kind of journey. Yeah. And, and it's like, you know, different people have it different ways. And for some people you can just live life on the surface and just go through your life. Some people need to go all the way down deep to the bottom of that sort of absolute world or absolute reflection or reality or true reality. Some people need to just go, will go straight down, you know, a plumb line and you drop it straight down and you go from, you know, the world of people and things and places to God, the end of story, you know, and, and other people have to kind of traverse and meander through all these other different realms of witchcraft and wizardry and woo woo and fifth dimensions and 16 million dimensions and alien universes and myths and gods and sacrifice and ritual and all, <laughs> all the different religions and all the different belief systems and structures and pantheons of infinite countless untold you know go take some lsd take some ayahuasca take whatever you know all kinds of different things are going on in this this mental it's 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 insane i mean it's just it's wild you know take take any one little microcosm think about the clowns think about the circus think about any any weird and wacky little microcosm just in the human realm of reflection um and it's all mythological and it's all symbolic and you know, we can get into those kind of numinous states or whatever. This is, I'm just talking out my ass, like this is not my life experience, uh, where we, beco we become archetypes. We become, um, you know, the beggar on the street. And it's, and it's like, <laughs> it's a godly experience. It's a larger than life, like, or demi-godly experience of like representing this symbolic collective force or form or shape or whatever. Um, and... <laughs> Every, every act carries so much potency, so much meaning, so much significance, so much, there's so much power being exchanged, you know? Um, and it's all, all that is just the human um, apparatus, the human mind, human emotions, human, it's, it's a vast and in my experience, like dazzling, scintillating. It's, I mean, my experience is actually mostly just chronic pain and dissociation, but I'm aware of that there are, you know, there are all these realms happening. I'm not particularly spending a whole lot of time there, but they're there. You know, you can travel and you can traverse. So um, I'm mostly just concerned with can I cook food today and can I eat it or not? To, you know, it's not, it's, uh, but the more strength that I get in my body as I'm coming back from like the brink of death a couple times, like, wow, I really, okay, apparently I'm still here. You know, there was no light at the end of the tunnel this time around for me. It was just like bare bones reality and fuck, you know, there's no one's around. It's just me just freaking dying, just a bag of flesh with like all my unlived dreams and aspirations in my mind. Uh, shit's not going to happen. So that's, it's hard, you know, if you're watching this video for some reason, and especially if you're like 15 or 18, 20, 25, just fucking change the channel. Watch something else. This is not, you don't, you don't need to be thinking about or doing any of this stuff. I mean, wh who am I to say though? Um, age doesn't really matter. It's just a number. Um, development is wildly different from person to person. Um, you know, I, and we all have so many different facets or aspects of ourselves that develop in very different times or often. In my, in my case, that's true. I have parts of me that are literally infant, that are toddler age, that are just totally regress, have not even started to become uh, mature or realized. So, yeah, so that's just kind of some word salad for you guys. And like I said, I think I might start a new, and if I do, you're not going to know about it, but <laughs> see out there. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. This channel kind of evolved and then things got really weird for me. Um, July, August, and they're still really weird and really gruesomely uncomfortable. And it's not something that I'm really capable of or interested in sharing or talking about. Um, there's not a whole lot of talking that wants to be 
around that, whatever that is, you know, and maybe, anywho, yeah, so it's been a very sort of thing, so, but I do remember back in the day I used to post videos and it was like turning into a thing and I'd get a new subscriber every day and I'd get all these comments and I'd talk to people and I was posting music and lyrics that I had composed and it was all fun, fun and games. And, uh, and lately that has been different. Honestly, and okay, I'm not, see, there are a lot of things that I really just don't want to talk about because they're just way beyond me and way out of my element and it's not, not a good idea to go, like I already got a lot of crap to deal with right now. It's not a good idea to go mucking around in, in extra double more crap that I don't need to deal with. There's already enough to deal with right now. So, I mean, I might just throw this video up right now and, you know, I have a, make up some random title, not even watch it back as I've been lazy about that, not write any description. It's probably not going to go out to many people because I, I've, what I've noticed is if you put in the effort either to edit the video or to maybe give it some nice chapters and descriptions because the, the algorithm needs something to go off. I, I, I don't know if it's that good at just... I don't know if it just watches the video and analyzes all of the words and throws them into some sort of um, sorting algorithm, but probably not. I think I think the the word descriptions that you type in, like this video is about, to, probably helps. And I haven't been doing that. And also not posting consistently. I've noticed that if I when I would post one or two videos a week, after a little while it would pick up steam and YouTube would start sending it out to thousands and thousands of people. Um, once, you know, once you kind of slack off a little bit on here, they'll take it out of rotation. So, um, so I'm, I don't expect many people to see this. Um, but if you, do, if you happen to be watching, then what was I even saying? Why did I even bring that up? I don't know. I think I was just going to mention that I honestly have no idea, but it's good to see you if you're there. So, yeah. Hello, person, person. Okay. Anywho, uh, that's it for now. I'm going to say goodbye.